Good evening and welcome to the Business Day. I'm Andrea Chisholm. The amalgamation of Jamaica producers JP Group and Panjam Investment is now complete. The move, approved by shareholders on December 22 last year, saw JP transfer its material businesses in Panjam in exchange for JP receiving 34.5% ownership stake in Panjam. Panjam has also changed its name to Panjam Jamaica Group to Pan Jamaica Group rather and will hold the combined businesses. Pan Jamaica Group now has assets of over $100 billion. Jeffrey Hall, who is now Chief Executive Officer of Pan Jamaica Group, says the transaction represents an important milestone for both companies as they look to capitalize and on new opportunities. Joanna Banks is now the group's president, while Stephen Facey serves as chairman. Digicel says two groups of creditors have practically agreed to a massive debt restructuring. The Irish Times reports that the plan would see 1.8 billion US dollars of debt being written off. Digicel's founder, Dennis O'Brien's stake in the company would also fall to 10%. More than 75% of financiers for $1 billion US dollars in loans, which became due, and holders for $1.2 billion of senior secured bonds have now agreed to back the wider debt overhaul. The so-called March 23 bondholders have now granted Digicel further 15 days grace period to formalize a restructuring agreement to recapitalize the business for future growth. The reorganization would see Digicel's borrowing fall by $1.8 billion or about 40% as bondholders swap much of its debt for equity. Organization of Petroleum Exporting Countries and its allies OPEC Plus, which includes Russia, agreed to widen crude oil production cuts to 3.66 million barrels per day. The decision made on Sunday will push up prices by $5 per barrel to above $85 per barrel. The cut comes amidst concerns about a weak demand for oil globally. Saudi Arabia, for instance, said it has interim cuts of 1.66 million barrels per day in addition to the existing 2 million. It says this was done as a precautionary measure to support market stability. Fears of a fresh banking crisis over the past month have also led investors to sell out of risk assets such as commodities with oil prices. The U.S. dollar is being sold for an average $152.22. $113.89 is the going rate for the Canadian dollar. The pound is being sold for $188.42, while it's costing an average $166.93 for the euro. And to the stock market now, the JSE index lost 8,769 points today, while the junior market index fell by 129 points. Among the winners, Carbon Cream, Iron Rock Insurance, JMMB Groups, 5.75% US dollar CR preference shares, Image Plus Consultants, and Cygnus Real Estate Financial Jamaican dollar shares. Losers include ISP Finance Services, Jamaica Public Service 7%, Margaritaville Turks, Kingston Properties, and Stanley Motor. And that's it for the Business Day. I'm Andrea Chisholm. Good evening.